Good morning. Today, Jeff and I are going to go to Galveston. It's been, I don't know how long, probably since his parents were here last in November, since we've been. I did go with one of my really good friends uh, recently, but Jeff and I haven't been together in a while. So we're gonna go spend the day at the beach in Galveston, probably get some malt at La King's because you know, we can't go to Galveston without getting a, a malt at La King's because um, they're the best in the world, saying. And we're just gonna relax. I took the day off. He has the day off today. So it's just gonna be whatever we wanna do, but we will try to get back before traffic gets crazy because uh, Houston traffic. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna get caught in that coming back up 45. So just saying. And we will be making a stop at Bucky's because no trip to Galveston is complete without a Bucky stuff. So let's get going. We are packed up, ready to go. We've got all of our new stuff, our new chairs and our new umbrella we've been waiting to use for months. So I'm excited to get to use that. So let's get packed up and go. My fun little bag I got at Disney, this recent trip, even has some um, straws attached to it. Ooh, using those arms. Yeah. What they're for. Yeah, these have, these are so cool. I'll show you these when we get there, but they have uh, places on the back to carry stuff. And then and ice the pack side. Yeah, and it's backpack, but we're gonna transfer some of this stuff into there. That way we only have to carry the chairs. A beach day in Galveston. It's about time. Jeff's been looking forward to this, so have I, but he's really been looking forward to this. Can't snorkel here though. You wouldn't want to snorkel It's just here. brown. It's just brown. You want some uh, grapes? Yeah. Yeah. Good Bucky's you you want some grapes? I want some grapes. Okay, you did say that. Why is that a big deal? Go to Bucky's. Hmm. I want some I want grapes. grapes. <laughs> I mean, if you have anything you want, you want fishing gear, you want hunting stuff, snackies, babysit. Yeah. yeah. Like, like your own brand of what? Oh, branding iron. Yeah. Okay. Jeff's dad loves to get the beaver nuggets. It's his thing. Any kind of salsa you want? Jams and jellies. Um, ew, pickled eggs. I'm just like, no. Pickled quail eggs? There's your asparagus. Yeah. If you like it, there's okra. No. You don't like pickled okra? Me and okra are taking a break. Oh. There's pickled Brussels sprouts. Blue cheese stuffed olives. Jalapeno stuffed olives. Just straight up pickled garlic. Yeah. I'm getting some asparagus. Get some berries. Mm -hmm. I love this stuff. And ooh, the ingredients are all good. What are these? Oh, these are pickles. Pudding. Pickles. Oh, carrot. Pickled carrots. That's different. Oh, big old dill pickle. They have hot and spicy pickles. Yeah, sweet pickles I don't like. They got little snacks. Grapes! Thank you. Oh, this is what um, Chanel and I got last time. We each got one of those. It was pretty good. Could use some more mayo. Uh, they have little cookie dough bites. Oh, man. They have cheesecake. Oh, no, there's cheesecake. Oh, you guys know me. You know I can't pass cheesecake up. Let's see if it's any good, if it looks good. Looks pretty good. But we're gonna be getting a uh, malt flavor. So there's your coffee bar. If you want anything over here, you can get vanilla sprinkles, chocolate, cinnamon, all these different syrups to put in your coffee. Oh my gosh. And they're non-GMO and real sugar. That's cool. And there's a sugar-free. There's two stations. There's another one over here. And then they have all of the creamers you could ask for. Milk included, oat milk right there, which is what the one I like. All the sweeteners. Interesting. Linda is now making stevia. Very interesting. So uh, they have their own sauces and steak seasonings. Ooh, garlic jalapeno broth. Ooh, what? Oh no, MSG. Ugh.
They have all these bottles of wine or any kind of uh, alcohol that you pretty much want, except for hard alcohol, just beer and wine. So would you like a beaver's hat, a Bucky beaver hat? Got those, got your cups. They have their own coffee blends. They have these cute little tumblers. Those are actually adorable. Now, can you see this place goes way back there? I'm gonna walk you over there, I'll show you. Uh, there's all the chips and stuff are over there. Snacks. They have their own line of Bucky stuff back here. I'll show you. So this whole thing is Bucky's brand. Taffy and candy and chips and all kinds of good stuff. The whole thing. They even have their own like little health bites. So much stuff. Of course, we got our candy. More of it. I'm gonna try to uh, walk by this aisle. <laughs> All right, also, so you know, their barbecue here and their brisket and sausage is ridiculous. And making those sandwiches. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And there goes the roasted nuts. Those smell so good. Oh my gosh. Fudge. An order here, order pick it up here, they'll call you. And then you get into all the merchandise. This place has everything. Wanna build a sand castle, baby? A little sand castle? Shark ring toss? <laughs> I mean, there's beautiful stuff over here. There's some really good presents. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, oh, it's wash. I was like, they don't sell booze like yeah, this here. This is uh, twenty-eight dollars, but it's the best stuff. They have. Man wash. This stuff smells incredible. This Fresh is laundry wash. wash, waterless shower, undercarriage man mixture, <laughs> Oop. and everything falls up. Oh, it's a bubble, bubble bath. bath. That's right up your alley, Jeff. I like the Commander and Beef sh uh, apron. Becoming a vegetarian is a huge mistake. <laughs> I love that. It's a Bucky Beaver puppet. They got pews here. Yeah, pew pews. Pew pews. Hey, pew pews. Go home. <laughs> they even have little bitty ones. You want a little bitty Bucky Beaver? Oh, I like that. Oh man. All the leaves are brown. <laughs> What do you mean? Does it look hippie-ish? Some Bucky Beaver shorts, swim shorts, swim tops, t-shirts, laners, whatever you want. I, I'm not either. But it's it's fun to look at. Setting the world from the ordinary best. The best little outhouse in Texas. Yep. Yep. Okay, you guys want some shoes, underwear, pants. Bucky beavers all over them. This is uh, this is this is for you, <laughs> right here. This is for you. They even sell the sh the SPF shirts. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Wine glasses. I think I think I'll pass on that. I think I'll pass on that. But that's cute. Ornaments. Man. Oh, look at these little swimsuits. They're so cute. They're tiny. Oh, they have blankies. Wow feel good. Color changing tumblers and straws. Books to entertain your little ones. Goodness gracious. A little puppet book. Wow. I mean like baby stuff if you need it. Bows. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If you forgot something, just come here. There's toys. Things to entertain. Uh, an Elsa doll. Okay. Yeah. They got everything. Oh, little lambs. Oh, that kind of disturbed me a little bit. That, don't like that. <laughs> they have plushies, warmies. Warm them in a microwave. Oh, cute. Oh, these are so sweet. I like these. I kind of want one myself. Oh, they have a nuts and alligator. And a sloth little swimming suits with Bucky Beaver on them. I'm telling you, this is, this place is, it's a big deal. So if you're ever in Texas, 
especially in Houston or going towards Galveston or anything, stop at a Bucky's. We'll be glad you did. I mean, you can get some good, good stuff in here. There's, oh, stuff for the puppy dogs. Oh, donuts for the doggies. My gosh. Some more very Texas shirts. Texas made. Oh, pop out. Oh, for your dogs. This is cool. It pops out to make a deeper bowl. Like that. For travel. That's pretty neato. Dog butt magnets. Uh. <laughs> okay. This is funny. My mom is single. My dad is single. Just want to meet. Want to meet somebody? There you go. We actually probably need to get one of these one of these days. Oh, love is wet noses, slippery kisses, and a wagging tail. The swimming stuff. All the swimming stuff you'll need. Boogie boards. Stars and straps, y'all. That's so Texas. Purses and shirts. Boots, jeans, and Jesus. I can't even show you everything. I would be in here for hours. So I'm just kind of giving you a run through overview. Not going to stay too long. Just showing you stuff. <laughs> pivot, pivot. The back should say, shut up. I would, I would, I would put that on the back. Beautiful and dangerous. Here we go. Wine lessons. <laughs> so yeah, they all, the military grunt stuff. stuff. Hats. All this. I feel like you might need one. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I like this one a lot. That's what you have to say when you get into the army, right? In the services. I like that shirt. Okay, if you need. Oh, they even have a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, that's what we forgot. We forgot our Bluetooth speaker today. Phooey. Well, we get one, but I don't. I don't want to buy a, a second one. it. We forgot to do that. I meant to do that. We've even charged it. So you've got all your cords and stuff if you've forgotten your cords. Earbuds. Well sunglasses real nice ones too dang some really good stuff in there uh, one of the rubber rings if you need one which is what jeff and i tend to wear when we're out somewhere or we're doing stuff like this we don't want to lose our real rings whoa these are cool these are wow these are really cool how much are these these are 30. we got a swimsuit cover up or a swimsuit there you go this is actually pretty neat. I like this. I don't know why, but I like it. So, yeah, swimsuits. Cute. Cute swimsuits. Really nice little cover-ups. Hats. I, am, I love hats. I am. I have a problem. I like hats a lot. Cute. Look at this. That's a fun bathing suit. Things to play with. Oh, these socks. No, it's like the love these socks. Love all those socks. Uh, I get in trouble in here. I, I want things and I don't need them. So if we go a little bit further over this way, they've got some of the uh, UV shirts. Some fishing shirts and hats. So here's the UV shirts. See, they call your, their number. Yeah, the UPF shirts. So you got those over here. Got a bunch of stuff for fishing over here. Fishing nets, crab nets. Anything you need. Got bait and stuff back there. So that's the bait shack. Never seen all this. Never walked back here. Oh yeah, so it's the bait shack. Squid. Wow. Wild caught. This is insane. Crab bait. So yeah, if you need your bait, you got that. If you need your fishing lures, you got that. You need some hunting stuff, you got that. Hats. Yes, cowboys, thank you, thank you, thank you. My sister and I are the only ones who are still all big time Cowboys fans. Appreciate this, appreciate this. Got some of the, oh, you put the little bottle in there. That's, those are neat. Got our Texans, yes, got our little Texans. 
All right. I mean, I could be in here forever showing you stuff. So I'm gonna run through the restroom and we're gonna grab our stuff and we're gonna continue on to Gamsa. Hope you enjoyed the little, the little mini tour of Bucky's. A lot of people in here, so I'm trying not to film like everything and everybody, but um, everything in here, the prop sockets. They're <laughs> pretty much whatever you want. We have a pillow pal. Yeah. Shirts, look at this. I mean, they have their own branding. It's insane. They even have cover-ups with Bucky the Beaver on them. This <laughs> is so funny. And yet, people really do love to buy it. Beaver Hat Company. All right, let's go back this way to the bathrooms. Oh my gosh. That's not even, that's not even nice. Ugh. And this is where you pick up your orders. They have amazing tacos and burritos too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you. If you come in here hungry, you shouldn't leave hungry because there's no reason for you to. No reason for you to. All your drinks and sodas. And then here is the restrooms. World famous restrooms. Okay, I'm not going to film much further than this, but as you walk in, there's all this art. And yes, it is for sale. So yes, you can buy the art on the walls. Right? The restrooms. So you just look for one that is green. And it says vacant. I think they're cute. By the way, you can also get fire pits, cookers, little grills, chairs, because they know you're going to the beach from here mainly. All right, so that's Bucky's. Yeah. Oh, and everybody likes to get a picture with Bucky the beaver. <laughs> I'll insert the one from Chanel and I's trip here, right here. So that's, that's Bucky's. Now you guys have seen it. Sorry it wasn't like super thorough, but we're trying to get to the beach. Got our handy dandy new backpacks. Uh, slash chair, slash cooler, slash holder. <laughs> the cooler part kind of flops, but look at this. This is really cool. That way we don't have to carry anything extra. Except for this. I am carrying this because I needed more room than the little side cooler pouch is going to hold. But other than that, that's all. And then Jeff's got the umbrella. Letting him scout it out. There's a there's a beer and wine trailer right there too. On your right hand side. See that? Yeah, so this is East Beach. Time for some sunshine and sand. Very excited about this. Got my little backpack chair on. I think mine is crooked. <laughs> there it is. Put my straps down a little bit. There we go. That's still crooked. Yeah, but so, so am I. I'm crooked. I'm never. Ah, there we go. I swear these are very handy. It's just, I don't put things on right. Oh, this is a good spot. Nobody else around, really. Beautiful. Good pick, babe. Jeff went and got us something at the little uh, iced drink station over here. Like, hanging out where you're, wherever it is right there. Look at our setup. What do you think? Looks great. And yes, everything matches, but I actually bought the chairs separately and this umbrella separately, so I'll link those for you. Even has a little table. How do you think? I love it. Yeah? I like the underside of this too. It's black so it really cools down and keeps the sun off. I love the little table that came with the umbrella. I'm oh, sorry, no. That came with the chairs. Nice. There's also this thing that we forgot, Jeff. There's a little thing in the pouch. You put the pole through it and then you fill it with sand and hook it here and here. This is my breakfast slash lunch. I made us sandwiches. And they're good, just saying. Although there is a place right there you can go get food. Way back here. So it's a vendor. I brought it. It's the same place that uh, owns the uh, restaurant and cantina. I don't think you can see it back there. Yeah, the little bit, little right back there. place. There's showers back there too. Oh, good grief. <laughs> yeah, but uh, they, they're from 
the uh, the cantina or okay. the restaurant or whatever it is. And then they have their little portable one over there that just. Uh, as usual, if something's gonna bite you or sting you, it's gonna be Jeff. Jellyfish. We're not sure if it was like full on jellyfish or just their nematocysts that have been churned up by the propellers because we're really close to where the boats go out, the um, shipping boats and stuff. So he's going up to the lifeguard stand to see if they have anything because he's got some couple of good marks on him for jellyfish. He said they're stinging like bee stings all over him. Okay. See, it? see this mark? Yeah, this mark here. This it's all the way up. Yeah. This, I can see it a little bit, not as much as I can really see that pop. I can see these lines right here on your legs. Yeah, red marks all the way. Yep. You got popped. Yep. So there was not anything she could really do for Jeff. So next time we're gonna probably bring some sting gel stuff uh, because they said it's pretty common out here and Jeff got it all on his right side and I was on his left side. So I think he was protecting me, though he did not really know it, but uh, He's feeling better, but we're just walking down to the little area over here where all the birds and pelicans are. And um, then we're going to walk back and pick up everything and go into the strand. And right now I'm just searching for some seashells. These are our horse hooves. Look at this trail ahead of us. This is where they have the horse rides, which we're yeah. totally going to do one of these they're days. Dry, though. They're just walking. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're just clip-clopping. Like one two three four five six seven six or seven horses <laughs> this is amazing yeah we're definitely going to do this one day even though Jeff's allergic we'll have to give him some benadryl because <laughs> i've heard it's incredible we'll do a sunset one that'd be better oh no poor thing of course yeah is that a blue heron right there He's pretty. Yeah, so right here, this is where my friend and I were about three weeks ago and it was completely covered in water because it was so crazy. It was so high tide and everything. Yeah, you can see how far the tide will come up. Oh wow, yeah, this was all in water last time. This is insane. There's the little Pelican Island right there. It's usually, there's usually water over to here. And you just walk across there. Woo! All right, we walked that far. It's, uh, there's some more, but it's, there's some big deep holes right there that we're not gonna go over. Because I prefer not to wind up in, you know, the Gulf today where they're searching for me. That's not my plan today. See the cargo ship out there? No, I mean, or surrounding it. Like, this is just a little channel of water. There, it usually is surrounding it. Look at all this stuff that's usually under the water. Look at all these birds. Pelicans, and seagulls. What are these little guys? I don't know what those are. This water is hot. It is actually that's hot. That's gross. Ugh. Oh, look, this guy's eating. He was eating a clam or something. Look at him. Jeffrey's going way over there. What are you going to do with that man? He's trying to see how close he can get. They're going to move. All right, now we're at the stream. We're going to get a few things. It's time. I'm going to go get a malt. You know, I've never tried anything else in here because all I ever want is the malt. I've never tried a banana split or anything else because I just want a malt. 
Look what we're doing. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, we'd like to get a chocolate malt to share. Yep. Right. The big one. Would you like that for years ago? To go. Right. Malt is ordered, and I'm gonna go look at the candy. They also have popcorn here. All the way. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Those are the ones I got last time. They were Turkish, amazing. Turkish uh, delights. You like that stuff? No, I don't know if I've never had it. Oh. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, you wouldn't like it. I know it from The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I've always wondered what it tastes like. Milk chocolate honeycomb. Orange jelly. Blech. That's the stuff I never liked as a kid. It's gross. Yeah, got peppermint patties. we got sugar-free milk, coconut, and peanut. And pecan clusters. I don't know what the sugar-free stuff tastes like. Probably pretty bad. <laughs> I brought one of those home for us last time. Those were really good. Espresso travels? I haven't tried the espresso. Um, Let's move over one to our right. Oreos. Mint chocolate cashews. Cashews, that sounds Dark good. Dark chocolate cashews. Orange peel. Extra crisp. Ooh, buttercream with sea salt. Coconut. Fruits. Okay, these these are beautiful. Wedding cake truffle, red velvet, peanut butter truffle, oh, banana split, key lime truffle. I'm curious because that's my favorite thing. S'mores milk chocolate marshmallow stick, Grand Marnier truffle, rum, Kahlua, Irish cream, oh my goodness. Nobody makes them like you. You too, thank you. Yay. And we got some num nums for later. No, fine. Oh, fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing beats it. Nothing beats that malt. God, that is so good. It's so good. And this is a man who doesn't really like sweets that much. Yeah. That malt is the best malt on this planet. Oh, now we're looking at food. Galveston's best hot dogs. What kind of hot dog is that thing? Where? Slaw dog millionaire, I think. No? 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 Chili, queso. There it is. Fritos and pickled hot dogs. Chico, Chico dog. dog. Oh, he's so pretty. I love that everybody brings their dogs down here. Uh, that's another great place to eat, by the way. Jeff and I have eaten there twice. Really, really good. Best deviled eggs I've ever had. Uh, but still, malt. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do it. Cause Jana drank the rest of the malt. I barely got any. <laughs> What's going on? I'm warning you guys, this thing is so addictive. Just, um, we should have gotten two.